Cody, you're somebody who's played football for a long, long time. Did you ever think it would come to this, that draft day is coming up? It's not a question of if you're going to get drafted, it's when. How excited are you to kind of go on this new venture? I mean, it's been exciting, you know. So, I mean, it's a blessing, you know. It's, it's like you said, it's something you always work for and dream for, and now the time is here. It's just, man, I'm ready for it to happen. Let's go all the way back. When did you first start playing football and fall in love with the sport? I started playing my junior year of high school football. So I was a basketball player growing up. So, you know, I always thought I was going to the NBA, but, you know, just, uh, my mom had got me out here and got me into football. I'm a high school coach, so I tried it out and, you know, happy to be good at it. You know, my athleticism, you know, helped me a lot. So I've just been working at it ever since, you know, and, uh, you know, it's what I've been doing since with my junior high school now, all these years. I mean, you can't help but to love it. It's what you do every day. I mean, you're out here practicing all these conditioning, the sprints. I mean, so you got to fall in love with it. I mean, like I say, it's like your lifestyle. So, A lot of people have talked about your draft status as somebody whose stock is clearly on the rise. But looking at your playing career, do you think on some level, Maybe you starting so late helped you in this in this process as you have made these these great gains in such a short period of time. I don't feel like it helps me, but I mean, like I said, I, it's just a blessing, man. You, it happened, you know. It just it's crazy how it happened, you know. The stock risen, but it's just been a grind every day. Every day I have to, you know, I was started late, so it kind of it kind of hurt me, you know. I'm behind people, just knowing that people been playing for all these years growing up, and I started late, so it's like it's a. How do, I, how do I say it? It's like, I know it was like a new beginning for me, so. Your family has got to be really excited too. How important have they been in your development along the way? I mean, very important, you know. You got to always have somebody you can talk to through this process. My moms, uncles, you know, cousins, things like that. Because you got different people coming at you. I mean, you get, you're always busy. I mean, it's hard to like really talk to people. So, I mean, there's some good support system, you know. That they're uh, in the background, you know, helping me with my problems. You know, like I said, somebody I need to talk to about a problem, you know, just vent to. So, it helps me a lot, you know, my backbone, my mom, so. You mentioned your support system. Are there some people, maybe coaches, even in basketball or a different sport, who helped you along the way to become not only the athlete but the young man you become? Yeah, I mean, every coach I've like played for, I mean, did a good job. I was blessed to have all good coaches. You know, basketball, high school basketball, I had a great coach. Uh, my high school football coach was great. He's talking. We talk to this day. You know, he's very supportive of me. He checks in on me all the time. He tries not to bug me, but he checks in and makes sure things are good. So, you know, we got Coach Johns and Coach Wilson here. So, and like I said, I was blessed to have good coaches coming up. You got gigantic hands. You're tall. You're extraordinarily fast. Why did it take you to your junior year to <laughs> determine that you wanted to be a football player? I mean, I, I don't know. I was a basketball player. That's what I was around, and you know, I just thought I was good. At, I was actually good at basketball, so just I don't know that's what I really liked, you know. And then, though, I just happened to get a football in my hands and be good at it. You know, had to work at it. You know, it's still, you know, everyday grind. You know, you can't just you can't just come out here and just play football. You know, if you're playing receiver, you got to work on route running, all kind of different things. So. I mean, you know, when I got this ball in my hands, it's been it, you know, since then. Here you are at Indiana, and you've been here for, for quite some time. Did you ever imagine when you committed to IU those many years ago that it would come to this, where you're potentially a, a, a top-round draft pick in the NFL? Uh, I mean, like I said, it's crazy. You know, I wasn't thinking, I, you know, you always hope that you got the dreams of going to the NFL, but I never knew what was in store. You know, I knew that uh, it was a good offense coming in with Coach Wilson, you know, and I was going to be able to do, uh, be known to make plays, and, you know, it was on me at the time. So, like I said, I mean, it just happened. You know, I wouldn't, I mean, everybody expects to do that. I mean, that's everybody's dream when they come, you know, I want to go to the NFL, but just my stock rising like it is, just, you know, it's great. So, Talk a little bit about that the student experience you've had here at Indiana. It's a gorgeous campus. We've got gorgeous mm -hmm. weather right now. Right. Uh, it's an incredible academic institution. Did you have a good time while you were at Indiana? A great time. Like you said, I mean, great you know, people around here, great facilities, everything, you know, had a good support system in the academic center. You got Krista and Dustin, and you got Travis here, you know, so they do a good job of keeping us on track, you know, with study hours and stuff like that. It was great professors, so it was a good atmosphere here, so I, I enjoyed my years at IU.